host of today's show, Alex Ross. Great, great show for you tonight. Our special guest is Mark James. He's a really good friend of mine. He is a makeup artist and a creature creator, and he's in town from LA to share with us some of the latest trends that are happening in the industry. So let's get him out here right now. Please put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Mark James! freak you out and just scare the living uh, uh, spit uh, out of you. As you may or may not know, Universal Studios actually invented the modern day horror uh, That's right. We're all on some clips of some of the most memorable moments in Universal's legacy of horror. Yeah, now I've seen these clips he brings along and they are not for the faint of heart. So if you're easily nauseated, you might want to close your eyes. But let the kids watch. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working on behind the curtain over there. It's for that kid show I was telling you about. You brought it? Yeah, I did. It's right over there. It's really, You're really insane. cool. You've it's incredible. For so long. I know. I, Let's take a look right now. Where are you going? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Well, I want to see that. Whoa, okay. I want to see that from here. All right. Like, like a big, big finale. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. Uh, I'll tell you what uh -huh. uh, you do. Yeah. Okay. Don't peek. No yeah. peeking. Uh, well, this audience, mm -hmm. find me someone, preferably a female, whose family is going to need me. I need them anymore. Okay, volunteer. Yeah, sure. Yeah, all right, all right. Okay, so look, I should actually kind of quantify the whole volunteer thing. When we have chosen people in the past who volunteered, they were um, crazy. <laughs> no, I, I want someone who maybe thought this was a ride or thought they were going to get some free butter beer. But <laughs> I can't take my eyes off of this lady right here in the front row. Listen to that applause! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, stand right here on the trap door. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, hi, I'm Alex and you are Alisa. Alisa, nice to meet you. Alisa, this is Mark. Hi Alisa, how are you? Nice to meet you. Ah! Oh, really? Wow. Here, hi Alisa, nice to meet you. Ah! Gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, where are you from? Canada. 
said that that's your husband. Yes. How long have you guys been married? 17 years. 17 years? Oh, 17 years. Oh, after 17 years, it might be time for an upgrade. Nope. All right. Oh, oh, really? Sweet. Well, I'm still going to make you an upgrade. How about like a helper? A helper? A helper. Oh, that sounds good. Well, yeah. there's stuff around the house, probably I'm like that guy there. So, uh, <laughs> do me a Really? Wow. wow. We should have you up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. All right, uh, I want you to put your hands out like so. Okay, I got all the body parts here to build you another member of the family. Uh, there's one hand that uh, we've got two, three, oh boy, yeah, four, five. <laughs> Lots of party. Okay, and uh, we got this, oh, this foot. It's been sitting around for a while. Oh, yes. No. Oh, if you can, right? Does that smell like routine time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have them drop all those body parts there at the table. I'm going to get the butt out of the fridge. All right, Elisa, we're going to come over here, right around the back of this table, and we're going to take all these limbs and just toss them right up there. There you go. Perfect. Because <laughs> 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 she wouldn't see her the first time. That's why. I was just having a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun. It's I'm so sorry. It will never, ever happen again. All right. Now, is it Lisa or Alisa? Alisa. Alisa. I just want to double check. Okay. Uh, Alisa, for the rest of the show, I want you to just stand there and look like you don't trust me. Easy. <laughs> Doing a great job. Okay, uh, Alex, you're going to do the hard part and you roll up your left sleeve. Okay? Okay. Now, a lot of you might be saying to yourself, well, how do they get all those severed limbs and body parts up there on the table? Well, you know what? Today, I'm going to show you. Come on over here, Alex. Huh? Come on over here. No, I need your help. I need your help. Come on Alisa! Yeah. Wow. You got a little fan club here. <laughs> Alisa, I'm not going to catch you with this big old blade. That, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Insane. I'm going to catch you with this much smaller, sharper blade. <laughs> right. Alisa, let me see that arm of yours. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah. Very veiny. Okay. Here's, shoes are expensive. Are they? Oh, All right. It's okay. Buy some other It's going to look really good on your shelf. Exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So take it to a text service. Uh, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take that knife. I'm going to cut your arm right off. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It is going to hurt. <laughs> Actually, it's not. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm going to need you to sell it on what it does. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to need you to scream for okay. me. Okay. Uh, while we practice, I will count to three. You just scream your head off. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! Really? <laughs> ah! That was deep. That was deep. Yeah. Oh, I felt that. Blood curdling, though. That's oh, what I'm like looking for. Like this, this is a horror movie. I'm cutting your arm off. Here we go. Okay. We'll do it again. One more, one more time. One, two, three. You want me to cut a kid? Mommy does it doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> when she's got to stay home with you all day long, then of course, you know, when the UPS guy comes, it's 50 shades of brown. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no I meant the safety tip. Oh, that's yeah. totally different. Okay, I want everybody to know, including the kids, that the blades we use here or in the movies are completely dull or made of plastic and rubber, a lot like the Kardashians. <laughs> oh, good, I'll let you know them. Come on. No. The Kardashian family are here. <laughs> we don't use real blades here or in the movies. Now, the gags you've seen today have been done by complete professionals. So don't try this at home. Yeah. Try it at a friend's house. No, you don't do that. No, all right. Shall we, uh, shall we do this? Yes. Yes. You have a close-up? Yes. Yeah. Okay, oh, here we go. Get ready to 
Oh, 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 <laughs> Can you do a boomerang? <laughs> yeah. Tick tock, tick tock. Yeah. <laughs> At least it doesn't hurt. Terrible. Yeah, Here, make like, yeah. Show everybody how you yeah. do that. Let's hear it for Alisa. Yeah. This is what's called a retractable blade. Okay, it's completely dull, and you look so surprised by this. It is completely <laughs> dull, like I was saying earlier. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth our arm. There's a groove that goes right over the arm like so. Okay, it looks like it's inside our arm. Where is that blood coming from? It's coming from a blood ball at the end of this handle. Now this gag was developed by Tom Savini. He was a makeup artist behind the original Dawn of the Living Dead. No display, it's not real. Elisa, say okay. A round of applause for Elisa! Elisa. Watch your step, please, on the way down. There you go. Uh, this is really gory stuff. Yes, it is. But there is a long history with makeup in Universal Studios, right? That's right. It all started yeah. in the 1920s. Oh. The horror makeup pioneer Lon Chaney, or otherwise known as the Man of a Thousand Faces. Lon was a makeup artist behind such universal classic monsters like the Phantom of the Opera and the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Lon was a brilliant actor who truly suffered for his art to bring these twisted characters to life. Uh, for example, in Hunchback, he wore a 40-pound hump on his back and a harness that contorted his body so he couldn't stand upright while filming. Uh, but we can only assume how Lon Chaney achieved these amazing transformations. He was so secret about his techniques, he wouldn't tell anybody. Not even his own son. Anybody know his son's name? Dick Jr. Uh, no, that's very funny, though. It was Lon Chaney Jr. Who was the Wolfman in the 1930s? There he is right there. Which brought along Mr. Jack Pierce. Now, Jack Pierce was the mastermind behind such universal classic monsters like the Wolfman, the Mummy, the Bride of Frankenstein, Lady Gaga, and Bradley Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Jack worked day and night to bring these twisted characters to life. He would actually visit morgues and work on real human corpses. This is from the 1930s Frankenstein movie. The Frankenstein monster makeup was a combination of rubber, plaster, mortician's wax, and toxic grease paint. It took four hours to apply, but it took twice as long to adhere all the layers upon layers of makeup, mud, and bandages on Boris Karloff's entire body in the original Mummy. I gotta tell you, Universal's had some amazing monsters. And some not so amazing monsters as well. <laughs> oh, who could forget the big headed brain creature from the Silent Earth, huh? Come here, Earthwoman, let me pinch your booty. Then I got you. <laughs> but then in 1968, the industry changed forever when John Chambers used foam latex makeup in the original Planet of the Apes. <laughs> okay. Uh, hold on just one second. Excuse me. Give me a second for okay? Please. Hi, Alex. You feel okay over here? Mm hmm Just um, really? doing a little... Wig work. A little wig work. Wig work. Really? Yeah. Did you not hear that alarm there? It looks yeah. nice. I, yeah, it looks yeah. loud. Yeah, it was, it was very loud. Yeah. You have any idea what that uh, alarm was for? Yep. Yeah. It was my curtain alarm. You have an I, alarm on your curtain. I have an alarm <laughs> on my curtain in case anybody decides to, oh well, say, uh, peak. <laughs> No, no. We talked about this at the end of the show. I want to save this for the end of the show. I didn't know. Okay, listen. What? Okay. I, I did, I did touch the curtain. Yeah, I'm going to it, but just to make sure everything was okay. What do you mean everything was okay? Well, there, was, there was an incident, but I don't, I don't An incident? I don't want to get, I don't want to get anybody. Listen, okay. I am. Okay. Yeah. Do you see, um, do you see, uh, that kid? With that kid right there? Yeah. Just, just chilling right there? Yeah, chilling. Yeah. Chilling like a villain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came through, through a through rock. You were through a at rock. your curtain, and I was like, no, don't do it. And, and, and it was like, shut up, old lady, I do what I want. <laughs> so that kid right there, he's laughing. Okay, yeah. hold on. I'm, I'm, yep. Hey, you needed to throw a rock that curtain, did you? <laughs> You're not saying anything. This is not helping your case. <laughs> did, did you throw a rock that hurt? Maybe. <laughs> you did? 
Well, there's the door, you little punk. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, so don't sorry. Be, be nicer. I'll this be is, nice. This is a show. I know it's a show. Do you not know what to do? What's your name? This is very interesting. It's what? I'm Tristan. 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 How old are you? You're about to turn nine. When are you about to turn nine? I'm Oh, cool. Well, happy birthday, Tristan. Very nice. Uh, where are you from? I'm from. You gonna think about this? Florida. I'm from Florida. Where? where, where what? I'm from Yulee. From where? Yulee. Yulee. Okay, very cool. Tristan from Yulee, Florida. Well, I'll tell you what, Tristan. Since I think you're covering for her. I want to let you know for the rest of the show, I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm watching you, Tristan, like a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh. This isn't Disney. I don't have to be nice to the kids. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. You were, I, I remember what I was talking you were, about. You, okay, you were over here, and you were talking about apes and play text. What? No. No, <laughs> I'm afraid I'll eat this. You said, you said, I said, play this. Yes, that's different. Something totally different. Yeah. Would you like to explain to Tristan over Okay, there? Tristan, let me tell you the difference you about play text. You know what? Play text. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about latex in many ways of creating future life. In fact, makeup techniques were literally transformed in Universal's oh, remake of The Mummy. Uh, beginning in pre production, makeup artists designed a series of conceptual drawings. In some cases, painting directly over existing photos of actress Sophia Butella, who played the mummy in the film. Now, from these drawings, uh, sculpts were created in reference to build latex appliances yes, that were glued directly to her face. Uh, tiny individual Rubik's symbols were applied by tweezers. Now, this process took about four hours to complete, and that is just from the neck up. Then, large silicone appliances were created with ink-infused glue embedded into them to produce thousands upon thousands of runic symbols that covered her entire body in the film. Now, uh, as you can see from the time lapse here, it took up to six makeup artists daily to get the makeup just right, and that was before getting into costume. Both Sophia and her stunt double Lucy Cork went through this process, I'd say dozens of times, but you know what, folks? It really, really pays off in the film. This is a great scene right here. Check this out. I can't believe it! <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's great? <laughs> the uh, makeup artists of today yes. are inspired by the makeup artists of yesterday. Like La Cheney, uh, Jack Pierce, one of my personal favorite, no. Rick Baker. <gasps> I love Rick Baker too. Yeah. He, you guys, Rick Baker has uh, how many Academy Awards? Seven. Seven yes. Academy Awards for The makeup? last one being for the uh, remake of The Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro. Oh, He's yeah. also one for Ed Wood. Ha Hair in the Head of Sex. Uh, the Grinch. Uh, Men in Black? And you know what? Uh, yeah. Let's take a look at one of his earliest works. Okay. Kids, if you know this movie, scream it out. E.T. E.T. Exactly. E he's a big kid over there. There's E.T. <laughs> <laughs> he's back and he's constipated. <laughs> now this is actually an American werewolf in London. Long before the Wolfman remake, Rick Baker pioneered the art of transformation. It was so innovative that he won the very first Academy Award. Makeup special effects. Oh, God, that is so beautiful. How's it though that the face moves around and changes shape like that? You know what? I can show you. Okay. That first scene, that was actor David Naughton in full latex makeup. Then Rick Baker designed a series of what we call change your heads. We're lucky to have these. Uh, he built a movable fiberglass understructure, sort of like a mechanical skull, based on actor David Naughton's face. All right. uh, then he took a series of latex masks put over that skull. Uh, notice the pistons in the back mm -hmm. here. It's actually run by fanatics. Air pressure? That's right. right. Simple air pressure. Mm -hmm. Actually stretches the latex mask and makes the face change shape. Uh, notice the detailing the airbrushing. Here is for close-ups in the movie. They've got uh, real porcelain Dell appliances. You know what? Mm -hmm. This one actually has real human hair. <gasps> Where's the hair from? Florida. Oh. Kids from Florida. <laughs> Very generous. Very generous. This kid. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> So uh, this technology, yes. is it still being used today? Well, today we use a lot of CGI. Computer-generated images. That's right, I got yeah. another clip I'd love to show you. let's do it. You know, sometimes mechanical and practical makeup limits the filmmakers' time or budget. So we got to use computers to bring our creatures to life. Uh, placeholders called animatics are created before shooting starts to give the feeling of movement or placement that a creature will have. Uh, for instance, in The Mummy, 
The digital artist actually captured actress Sophia Vitella's facial features as well as body structure. So then the digital artist could actually morph her face as well as body structure and movement in real time. Uh, both the digital and practical makeup artists need to refer back to the original design. Everything still relies on basic makeup techniques, so the effect, folks, is flawless. I gotta tell you, computers are an amazing tool, and when providing practical makeup, an amazing story, great acting, well, you know what? Nightmares become reality. <laughs> Take a look at the, the oh, kids show. Yes, the yes, yet? yes, yes. I'm going to need your help. Really? Yes, I, I am. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to put on this high voltage vest. What? It's a low voltage vest. Nope. It's got a little bit of voltage. Nope. Should be okay. I need you. Elisa! for the next two weeks. Oh. <laughs> you can start using them on Monday. Yes. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, I'm going to need your help. Can you grab this... Uh, I can. What? Uh, uh, the glove. The glove? Okay. Yes. Cool. Put that on her. Alisa, i got a question for you, my dear. Have you ever seen a movie called The Green Mile? Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> you have? You know how this ends. All right. <laughs> Take a look at you. <laughs> you look like a Power Ranger. So cute. Can they Power Ranger? Look at you. Uh, Alisa, this is what's called a telemetry suit. Mm -hmm. It's got a whole bunch of wires and sensors on it. It's actually connected to a creature I've got behind the curtain over there. Let me tell you more about that in just one second, okay? Yeah. Right now, I'd like to introduce everybody to my creature. Can I get a drum roll, please? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together! Let me introduce to you the one, the only, Eddie! Wait a second. <laughs> this is for a children's show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He saw uh, one of the lead scenes in last year's Door of the Explorer live action movie. Oh. <laughs> It was a great scene, and I don't know why they cut it. It was a scene where Dora learned how to run. My Rapido! <laughs> All they found was a backpack and a map, though. So. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Elisa, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn on the electric on that vest. I'm going to turn on the electric right here in this power box. Okay? Electricity is going to come through these wires and through these wires, and through those wires, and through those wires, and right into that vest. And you, my dear, you might feel a little <laughs> zap. <laughs> I know where you won't remember a thing when you wake up. You, you, your pants might be a little wet, though. Okay, let's take a picture. picture. Let's take a little picture. On the count of three, everybody say insurance. One, two, three. Insurance. insurance. All right, get over here. Can you look at that? Get over here, okay. I'm watching. Here we go. I'm going to turn this off. Go! Oh. Mark? Is that? Uh, Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Hey, at least I'm going to just one second. Get back to your mind's block. I want to get back to your So I'll move our hand up very slowly. Pretty cool, huh? Folks, this is the same technology they use in video games. It's also the same technology. Oh, they use. <laughs> hey, Elise, you like big butts? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Hi, kids. Hi, Tristan. <laughs> My name is Eddie, and I live under your bed. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Check your closet. Okay. <laughs> and uh, we'll start. Let's get a bow here. This is where the helmet comes in. All right. And we go back up. And we put our hand down to our side. And we are going to turn that off. And we are going to turn this off. What do you think, folks? Yeah! 
Thanks for asking. 